Alright. Alter Mage. Making it happen. Conjuration Tutor MVP. Only running two Conjuration Tutors, I just noticed. Uh, didn't realize that, actually. <laughs> I mean, I know I built the deck, but sometimes you just forget what's in it. Master Splitter. This is the guy who used to lead the Ninja Turtles and then ditched, right? The Master Splitter, as opposed to Master Splinter. You get it. I like to think of myself as Krang, actually. We're going to keep all this. I can see throwing back Elixir Vitality. It sort of does nothing. But we have the ring, and we're playing against Spell Sword. There's a marked man. He doesn't play his dude because he's got Fifth Legion Trainer in hand. We got the Ice Storm for the first clear. Wow, really? I'm doing that because of the ally, the 3-3 three, three for 3. That would be my best guess as to what he wanted to do there. Kill my Broomer Profiteer. Yeah. There's Hive Defender. We will wait until after next turn when he plays his uh, Imperial Reinforcements before we play our Hive Defender to oppose him. He's got nothing. Man, Ice Storm in hand, I'm going face. I'm going face all day. I'm, uh, I'm feeling a little jacked up. I won a couple games. I'm ready to roll, ready to rumble. Oh man, joke's on you, buddy. You have no idea how many good targets there are for that card in this deck. <laughs> Should we show him? Wait, what does this mean? Marked man. This is a control deck that we're going to lose to. Oh man. Maybe this is just mid range. Spell sword of some kind. I mean, to I think token decks are pretty mid range. Yeah, I I screwed up. <laughs> oh man, I screwed up so bad. Face. All right. Well, how do we get out of this? <laughs> We're about to lose to a bunch of Manticoras and Maracs. Hmm. We deserve it. We deserve to lose that way. It'd be cool if he just went face some more. Maybe he's as bad a player as I am. <laughs> The marked man in the uh, control spell sword, though, is uh, a little, a little bit annoying. <laughs> Suppress. Old Gate Warden. What is? <laughs> where am I? <laughs> What's happening? Is this a Ring of Imaginary Might deck? Go face. Alright, that's fine. I mean, I can clear everything except for this. 
<laughs> Alright. Uh, well. You gotta know when you're beaten, right? I, I say that as the guy who, who just got beaten, I mean. <laughs> Marked man into Manticora. Thank God he hit us at all and we drew any extra cards. Why am I only running two Conjuration Tutors? Man, when you don't have an altar on turn five, like, to start the chain early, life feels pretty bad. Divine Fervor. <laughs> yeah. Kvat Soldier. Alright, so we Firebolt that and do nothing, I think. There's Ancano. Yeah, I'm just going to pass the turn. If we, uh, you know, let's see what happens. Midnight sweep for three threes. <laughs> this is a master of the, of the guard deck. I like this combo, actually. There's Manticora. I just Manticora this. There's Cauldron Keeper. Damn. Hmm. I don't know what this is. It's interesting. I gotta give him that. Uh. You know, executes pretty bad this late in the game. I used to put Goldbrand in every deck I ran, every controlling type deck. Uh, and there was a time in open beta when uh, every, most people were doing the same thing. You know, you get a Goldbrand for playing through Story Mode, and it's not terrible. And and the game, the meta was the game was slower back then. Oh my God. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Mirac, por favor. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. Um, Manticora. He hits us for six with his gold brand. Maybe I'm delusional, but I think right now we're still okay, right? <laughs> I'm getting schooled so hard here. Alright, well, we can gain a bunch of life, I guess. Eleven magic left. Let's 
do it all. All right. An elixir a day keeps the necromancers away. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> <laughs> How many javelins do I have left? I got one man. Oh, I don't have any manticoras left. I'm only running two. Crap. All right. I need. I need. I need Marak. Odaving. Does Odaving do it? Not quite. But it's a step in the right direction. <clears throat> Keeping all these on one, you know, obviously in case I draw another cauldron keeper. My aim was slightly off. Manticore, of course, right next to Odaving on the deck list. Fifth Legion Trainer. This guy's deck's amazing. College of Winterhold. Yes, please. Uh... Yeah, I mean, Rapid Shot keeps eight damage off my dude, so... Oh yeah, I forgot we used this twice. Ooh, plunder! <laughs> oh yeah, staff of sparks. All right, all right, all right. Glass helm of remedy. This is a cool game. Let's draw altar or cauldron keeper so I can get some more spells. Word wall. Well, that was that quick. That, I mean, that was t totally planned, by the way. So we have 19 exactly. We hit a prophecy. He's like oh, loyal house, Carl. <laughs> Crap. Huh. Well, House Carl's wicked here. Fair enough. Um, uh, nope. <laughs> do 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 do. If he can see his next turn, I just want to end the game at uh, 39 life, since I uh, was down to like 9. <laughs> 
Yeah. This is the most anti-aggro list I've ever seen, and I am incredibly impressed by it. By the way, check this out. It's going to pay off. This, You know, I mean... <laughs> Alright, so we beat... Uh, budget, spell sword, control, I guess. Alright. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm not going to lie. When I started, rec I, I recorded the first three games yesterday. Lost 2-1-1. One, one, I was like, well, you know what? Like, I'm just going to hop into Gauntlet and uh, lose this next game so that I can uh, maybe clip together some highlights. <laughs> I didn't expect to win any more games. Uh, and then I was going to uh, record a f my final Gauntlet video. Because the Gauntlet just hasn't been going well for me this week. Or this weekend. Um, because I've been playing some, obviously, off-meta stuff. Uh, sort of like, it's like I double down on pushing back when there's like some clear best decks like there are right now. And I just, I dig my heels in and I'm like, now nah, I'm going to play something dumb and weird. Break the meta. And while it occasionally, certainly not as often, like certainly less than 50% of the time, but sometimes that does work for me. And I do come up with cool new decks. Uh, but that was not the case uh, so far. Although I do think that um, Ramp Warrior, uh, the Rage Reanimator Ramp Warrior, the deck I got, is uh, something you could take the Legend easily. I think that this deck is probably worse than that. But it's, uh, you know, we're having fun. We're having fun. So, Multisanti is our opponent for this game. He's playing Spell Sword. And I have the Ring. Ring. Spell Sword. Uh, I'll keep this hand. Turn one word wall into Call of Valor has to be pretty good. Uh, against tokens in particular. Against control, it's sort of like whatever. But Lay down a couple of uh, ombres over here and see what happens. I mean, I'll tell you what's going to happen. He's going to do nothing this turn. And then turn four, play Hive Defender, which I will Javelin. Oh, man. Never mind. I'm about to blow this dude up. Okay, if he prophecies a creature, actually, we need to kill this first. Broom Profiteer. So he's got the Hive Defender in hand, that's why he played the armor first. And now we're in a Javelin, just go face for nine and hope that's good enough. <laughs> Imperial Reinforcements? Alright, this is just a token stack with a horrible start. But we're still going face for nine. Ice Storm. Hmm. Not really <laughs> what we wanted to draw. Oh god. Well, <laughs> when these tokens decks have bad opening hands, you just assume that uh, you should just go face because it's a control deck. That is that strategy has not yet paid off for me once, and this hand is <laughs> a nightmare. All right, so we need to go to Value Town on this uh, ice storm pretty badly. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm sorry, little girl. <laughs> but your time has come. So Imperial Reinforcements and Little Girl in the same deck. Alright, once again, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I mean, while that is true, I also don't know what I'm playing against. Hopefully it's just a re Reinforcements and I can Firestorm. Oh, that's pretty spicy. I'm a lot less excited about what I'm seeing <laughs> than I was a second ago. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
pretty good. Alright, so we're back to the budget spell sword deck. <laughs> hey, there's altar. Even though I got the ice storm, I think this is still the right play. Get those guys out there. And word wall is just so terrible uh, in this deck. The card has a lot of utility uh, in other decks. <laughs> Not this deck. Yeah. 18 all, my friend. Oh. Ice, ice storm is going to have to happen sooner rather than later, isn't it? Got two javelins left. We're up on Manticora, Marak, Magica. Yep. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I think we lost. I mean, we can clean off a lot of this. A lot of this. Not a whole, not all of it. That actually, that sucks for us. Can't double ice storm yet. Hits me for 10. I'm going to Ice Storm again next turn. Just hopefully no more Golden Saints. Hive Defender. Yeah, I'll take more cards. <laughs> Conjuration Tutor. Not playing his card. Alright, Ice Storm. Ah, oh, my sweet ice storms. I got one ice storm left. No more fire storms. He's got three cards in hand. I've got executes. Well, I can execute that. Okay. Okay, okay, Manticora. Okay, execute. Firebolt. Conjuration Tutor. It's going to bring out a word wall. If I find something worth sacrificing. There's the last ice storm. It's got to be this guy. I pass. I have a Broom of Profiteer left. Little girl, you're getting executed. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the little girl's getting stolen. Oh, I should have uh, Broom of Profiteered first. Now, he has to have removal. I don't know what else he's sitting on. Mantic or <laughs> Odiving. Aerostorm. Okay. It's fine. Uh three drop. It's a guard creature. We are getting there, maybe. 
Okay. I'm gonna Manticora that. <laughs> Four drop is Hive Defender. There's one left. Working ourselves up the chain. We're about to grab... Oh my god, please give me two more turns. That's fine, dude. That's fine. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> We're about to go to town with our Lava Atronox. You are about to become an 8-8, my friend. Look at that that glass. He's like, yes, I knew it. I deserve it. <laughs> All right. All right. Check this out. Oh! Now who wants to become Ancano? <laughs> uh... Is that all our Manticoras? Oh, we still have one left in the deck. No! <laughs> I wasn't done! <laughs> Alright. Token Spell Sword. <laughs> Alright. We'll be right back. Howdy, folks. Uh, time for another one with Alter Mage. Doing a lot better than I thought we were going to be doing. In fact, I think after the second game, I uh, I swear and I stop recording about halfway through. So we'll figure out how I'm editing that into this video, since I've now decided to release it. Um, playing against DJY. Sandra, by the way, is right next to me painting my nails red, because uh, after I finish this gauntlet run, I'm hopping onto the gauntlet dressed as an orc. Um, can't keep alter. So this is the first time we've played against Battle Mage with this deck. I have no ring, and I'm playing Battle Mage. That's all we know so far. Elixir Vitality, Ravenous Hunger. Alright, we'll see what happens. There's a lot of good cards that you would want to run in a Control Mage list that you don't have room for in this list. We're just going to get this out there. We need to use our magic effectively if this is aggro, prophecy, battle mage type situation. Uh, but we will let him hit me a few times here in the beginning. No plays turn one or turn two, though, tells me this is not what I thought it was. This might be control battle mage. It might be onslaught control battle mage, which is my preferred list. It might be somebody trying to make Merrick happen. Okay. Um, well, I'll just Camorn Sentinel to oppose that. No reason to play Word Wall yet. Trade a 3-drop with Prophecy for a 3-drop with Prophecy. These guys are kind of like cool mirrors of each other. Although, obviously, more cool Gatekeeper is more flexible. You know, Lightning Bolt, my dude? Wow. That's interesting. Uh, another Execute's not going to get there. Just going to Camelor and Sentinel again. Also, again, not using the Elixir Vitality. If he kills this one, again, I want to gain some life. We don't have an answer to a Markarth Bannerman, which, if he's moving this slow, he might be running. So a Javelin would be, you know, real nice. Alright, so what? I got, a I got a 3 in 43 chance of drawing it. That's not bad. Right? It's, it's like 1 in uh, 14. Right? Yeah. 1 and 14 in the third. I think. Mystic Dragon. Okay. He's he's still doing his thing. Uh, just going to Ravenous Hunger. All right? This is... F it's either going to eat a Firebolt or a Sharpshooter Scout, more than likely. Which would... The Sharpshooter Scout scenario is real sad for me. But uh, hopefully he just swings into it. He doesn't. Room Profit here. Alright. So he's got an answer for this. Sharpshooter Scout. <laughs> Called that. Uh, do I want to gain life yet? I don't think so. I think we're going to 
I think we're going to draw as many cards as we can. Protector of the Innocent, okay. No good Firestorm turn yet. There's Javelin. Just going to Javelin this. Pass the turn. That Sharpshooter Scout value, though, is pretty crazy and pretty frustrating. Yeah. Hive Defender's great. Hive Defender Broom and Profiteer might be the play. Probably sorry I'm to start gaining some life. Oh, Fate Weaver. Yeah. That card is degenerate as hell. Well, now I'm not excited to be playing anymore. Um, hmm. Wish I had eight Magicka. Pass the turn. I haven't seen any good execute targets yet, which sucks. Firebolt's good. Alright. Might be thinking I have Dawn's Wrath and play creatures over here. Camel and Hero. Okay. Shield Breaker, unfortunately, a card I got to be thinking about. Now I wish I had nine Magicka. Another Word Wall. Well, okay. Four, just sitting on four cards, right? So, Sentinel Battle Maces, perhaps? I need to draw some gas. I need to draw some good cards. I need to draw a, uh, well, what's good? Having a nice storm in hand would make me feel better about myself. Cauldron Keeper would be alright. Um, Call of Valor, I guess. No, not Call of Valor. Uh, Marak, Manticore. Well, Manticore, I guess I feel alright about. I think there's more bad draws left in the deck than there are good draws. I just don't know what he's sitting on, that he has four cards in hand after all this time. Make sure I haven't disconnected. He's thinking real hard about this. Growlwood Ambusher. Actually, getting some value here. Mm hmm. Shieldbreaker. Shrieking Harpy. So, Sentinel Battle Miss Shieldbreaker, perhaps? Um. I think that plays best around things that could go wrong. And now I'm going to Manticora whatever needs to be manticora What if he has two Sentinel Battle Maces? There's Underworld Vigilante. Afflicted a lit. And Lurking Crocodile. Okay. Okay. We're not doing so bad. Altar of Despair. Not really what I want right now. Put him into top deck mode. Hopefully he has to clear that up with both of those. Hopefully he plays something I can execute and I draw a creature that I don't mind altering. Selene has joined us. Sandra is sitting right next to me. The Kingslayer, you're no Jamie Lannister, sir. What do I want to draw now? Marak, 
motivating. Ravenous hunger, maybe. Hopefully he just drew a sharpshooter scout, right? Interesting. Okay. Grotwood ambushers, pretty big. Conjuration tutor. All right, I'll take that. So I'm about to take four. I'll happily trade away my conjuration tutor, and then turn. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I have to. I just gotta keep his threats off the board till I get stuff. All right, I'll take another card. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> no concession yet, though. I respect that. Word wall. And now I want him to play a creature over here so I can turn this into a ravenous hunger. I have... One, I have two of those left and two Burma Profiteers. I think I have three of each in the deck. Yep. Call of Valor. I'm actually going to turn that into something. Oh, Ravenous Hunger, you're a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. My three drops, have I already seen both Camelot Sentinels? I have, so my next card out of there is going to be a sweet roll. So we're going to whiff for a turn. No, not Fate Weaver. Oh, Fate Weaver is so garbage. And it's another Sharpshooter Scout. That's twice that's happened now. Alright, well, we will turn this into a Sweet Roll in Ice Storm. Alright. And now we'll Ancano his next play. Hopefully I'm not breaking a rune. This dude's aim with the Sharpshooter Scouts is pretty frustrating. I flicked a little hit. Oh my god, I'm going to lose the game. Cauldron Keeper. I can pull a 4 and a 5. Okay. Not using it, obviously. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I cannot afford to give him extra cards. What am I trying to do, man? It's going to pull... a Hive Defender and a Cauldron Keeper. Just pass. I have two elixirs of vitality left. Uh, okay, I'm at three. Okay, this works. This this works. I elixir of vitality. I ancano. I alter. I alter. Okay. Okay, I'm still alive. Now I'm going to get out my Lava Atrinox. Yep, 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 yep. screwed up. I need to draw a creature. <laughs> I really need to draw a creature. Any creature. 
Oh my god, are you kidding me? Alright. Well, I have four more of those in my deck, because I've played both Conjuration Tutors. This pulls out a sweet roll because Ancano's gone. I have no nine drops. He's already used one lightning bolt. Okay. <laughs> Lava Atronox City. Killing my conjuration. Like the top. Oh, this guy's draws are insane. Mine are pretty good though too. Mine's been pretty good too. This is this is brutal. This is brutal. Uh, Altar of Despair. I mean, I'll play it. I got 24 damage. I'm gonna pass. Gonna execute that. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Huh? Man, I got all day. He's already played two Fate Weavers, so he's not drawing more than one card a turn, and hopefully. Thank God nobody runs Supreme Atromancer in these decks. <laughs> Garnag? I like Garnag. I dressed up as Garnag. Uh, well, I'm going to javelin it. I'm just, I'm not activating this in case I draw my last Cauldron Keeper. Camelor and Hero. So now I need to activate this so I don't die to double lightning bolts in a Ooh, Elixir of Vitality. Okay, we hit a prophecy, not surprising. Yeah, that's not gonna do it for you, buddy. Uh pass. I got lethal on board now. I can gain four life next turn. But he does have two cards. One of which does not have prophecy, for sure. Could be a Camelorn hero. An Earthbone Spinner, an Afflicted Alit, Underworld Vigilante, it's an Afflicted Alit, okay. That's alright. Shield Breaker. Uh-huh. We go to three. We're going to go to seven, and we're going to be dead to double lightning bolt. Oh my god. That was it. We have to do it. This one has to swing first because it dies to lightning bolt. Prophecy. We're fine. Prophecy. Harpy. Oh my god, it's freaking Harpy. Okay, so we Ice Storm. Can we turn this into a word wall? Oh my god, I don't have any word walls left. Oh! Prophecy Battle Mage, you piece of garbage deck. Oh my god. I've been outskilled.
<sighs> He's taking his time. Real excited about this. Mm-hmm. Maybe his hand is two harpies. I still lose to that, though. <laughs> I get a two drop out of the deck. I execute a harpy. Yeah. Did I mute him? Is he spamming emotes? That was a good one. Uh, run. Uh, just to prepare myself for the loss, I'm just going to write a loss on my little track thing here. By the way, Prophecy Battle Mage. Yeah. Mm hmm. Really? All right, he wasted some of my time, so let's waste some of his time. <laughs> you know, DJ YY here, he used to be an adventurer like me, and then he took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're going to be back for another one, even though I thought we were going to go one three drop. So, be it. See you soon. All right, after that nail-biter of a game, I'm back for another Alter Mage game. <laughs> we are we are way past the borrowed time. Our opponent, Firefox Ultra the Founder, needs to put us in the grave because we should have been dead a long time ago. I'm holding everything weird. Sandra just painted my nails red because I'm about to... Um, uh, I guess I'll keep... All of this, it's executes so bad though. Bad against this deck, Cauldron Keeper, something good. Um, Sander painted my nails red because I'm recording my next video dressed as an orc. Uh, for my final gauntlet run. All right, so we have the ring. How do people write with? How do people live with painted nails? And what happened to my pen? Uh, okay. Pass turn. As I try to find a pen that works. There it is. We have the ring. We're playing against Scout. Alright, well now I could probably use that execute. Just gonna firebolt that. Not in any real rush to gain life with Ravenous Hunger and use up my ring charges. Hey Celine. See if he's got the tree minder. Fighters Guild recruit. All right. Mm, let's just get that off the board. Obviously, this is susceptible to uh, a number of minus one, minus one effects in the scout decks these days. Like Drain Vitality. But that's all right. Stalwart ally. I support this. Um, once again, we just kind of need to get that off the board so we can lay down our bigger guard creatures without worrying about them getting smashed. There we go. He's got the Thorn Hist Mage. We will javelin that and uh, take a little damage here, maybe draw some more cards. This is the classic Control Mage versus Scout matchup, which Control Mage loses. <laughs> Restless Templar. More Cauldron Keepers, so if we ever get any of our support cards, you know, that'd be pretty sweet. So I'll let him hit me again. Swing here and hopefully Ice Storm to clean things up. Hopefully he lays down some more stuff that dies to Ice Storm. This is an interesting like anti aggro tech package he's got. So maybe that makes him worse enough against what we what we're doing here that we can pull off a win. Have we beaten we haven't even played Scout this run. 
Um, gonna keep that. Gonna keep Reno, my Bolt Reno. Yeah, that was gonna die anyway. Uh, yeah, well, I don't mind Ice Storm here. Dude's at 35, so, you know, if he's running Necromancer, that's bad for us. His Blood Magic Lord. Not great. We really need him to not get raised dead. There's Conjuration Tutor. So it's coming together. Slowly. We'll play Bruma Profiteer, Conjuration Tutor next turn. Thieves Guild Recruit. So it's not raised dead, right? Because you would just instantly raise dead. Valkyrie Defiler. Dark Guardian. Alright. You can deal with this. I want to execute this. Um. No. No, we don't. Hopefully, no Partharaxony. Parth Parthenax Arena. Yep. 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 Odoving's gonna be good here, eventually. Now I will execute this. <coughs> Uh, we're doing it like that so he doesn't lane change, swing his dude over here and reanimate stuff. Keeps pushing damage. There's Ice Storm. Alright, you got a dragon of some kind? Red Brahmin. That sucks. Firebolt? No, I wouldn't do it. Ravenous Hunger. Well, hopefully he can't hit us for five. From hand. <laughs> do you got the old Tazcad Arena? <laughs> he do! Congratulations. Oh, it was Drain Life. All right. Well, that's all right. Um, we lost to Ramp Scout. But that's sort of what you expect with Control Mage. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, get our rewards. And then I'm uh, going to record it with a different deck. Do 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 All right, hundred gold, seventy-five, two packs, three packs. Sweet. All right. Well, hey, thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you all on the ladder.